Woody, the canine detector dog, has alerted to the passenger's back pocket. Just go back around to the bench for me, please, sir. Just come this way. Officers must now investigate this passenger to find out what he has brought from India into Melbourne today. OK, and these are your bags? Yeah. And you packed the bags? Yeah, yeah. You know what's inside the bags? Yeah, yeah. OK, so do you have anything to declare listed here? No, no. Officer Simon understands there may be a cultural reason why the traveller attracted the detector dog's attention. Okay, so do you have any flowers on you? Has anyone given you flowers as a souvenir or a going away present? No. Okay, so what I'll get you to do is just come here and just pull out your inside of your pockets for me. Okay. Okay. So see this? Parts of plants. You knew that you had that in your back pocket? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so why didn't you tick yes to question seven? It's a tradition to give a flower as a parting gift to travellers. It may be tiny, but can still have a disastrous effect on Australia's environment. This could bring pests and diseases into the country that we don't have, okay? So it's really important that you tick yes and declare, no, 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 not now. <laughs> but in future, when you come into Australia, yeah, yeah. that's what you need yeah. to do. Officers now proceed with a full bag search and soon make a worrying find which suggests the passenger is hiding a lot more. What's in here? Just gonna seal it up. Mm. Commercially packaged snacks found in his bags raise officers' suspicions because they appear to have been opened and then resealed. So you bought these from a shop? I don't, sir. Because uh, uh, my bro, uh, my friends gifted. I don't show. Oh, so you don't actually know I, what's inside? I, I, I don't show. They've given it to you? Yeah. The man now contradicts his earlier statement by claiming he doesn't know what is in his bag. So you can give it to you to pack, yeah? I, I, I don't pack it. But you didn't pack? So you I don't know what's inside? We're going to open it up? Okay, okay. When I asked you what was inside your bag, I said, did okay, you pack okay. your bags? You said yes. Okay. And I said, you, were you aware of the contents of the bags? And you said yes. Sir, I'm speaking, sir, I'm speaking to you. Yes. I asked you if you knew what the contents of the bags were, and you said yes. Got two packages here being resealed. Right? You should know what's inside. Each packet contains a concealed plastic bag, and as Officer Stephen checks the contents, the passenger becomes increasingly nervous. But it doesn't match what you've got in the package. You tell us it's snacks, it's not snacks. In both packaging, the packaging is totally different. And they've both been resealed, you can, as you see. In both cases, both packaging been resealed. Officer Stephen discovers the bags are filled with a quantity of unidentified plant material. Do you know, what, what is it? What is the plant? Tobacco. Tobacco? Tobacco. So this is tobacco? Unidentified tobacco. You knew what it was when I asked you. You said it's tobacco. So to me, you knew what's inside your bag. You knew what's inside the packaging. Yes or no? No, sir. I know. I but know. you knew it's tobacco. You identified it straight away as tobacco. Yeah, yeah. So you knew what it yeah. was. Officer Stephen discovers the bags are filled with a quantity of unidentified plant material. That could have multiple plant diseases on it, or it could also have other insects that we don't have. Loose leaf tobacco is a restricted item and a danger to biosecurity. This is my friend. Your friend but asked you? My friend asked you. Ask me. So you took that gamble, you said, I'll bring yeah, it in. Yeah. Why? No, but you could be caught and you could be fined. Sorry. Why would you do it? Sorry. He may be sorry, but what he doesn't know is that making a false declaration over such a large quantity of tobacco can lead to serious penalties. So this is a clear concealment, OK? You've tried to attempt to bring something in that's concealed. It's important that you understand that making a false declaration has serious consequences behind it. Passengers must declare tobacco imports and pay the relevant duty. However, this passenger's tobacco is in loose form and therefore poses a serious biosecurity risk, meaning it cannot enter the country. He will instead be the recipient of a fine. 
you will be getting an infringement notice of $420. You are giving a chance of $420, yes. The tobacco will be confiscated and destroyed. I want you to put this into the bin. Okay. Right, and then you know it's been disposed of, okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so sir, so if you can come with me, you can pay your infringement notice. Just follow the officer to the duty collector to pay the fine, yeah? I hope it's a, it's a good lesson to him educationally and you know next time not to bring anything from, from any friends or any family members unless he knows what it is and to declare it on the car. So just straight through there? 